Hi all and welcome to my new video related to Bitcoin education. In this video will be the part 4 out of 15 videos related to explaining the blockchain and in particular we will discuss about hash functions. This presentation is for educational purpose only, it is not a financial advice. The reference books are always the same, strongly recommend you to read both of them if you are interested to get to know more and more related to the blockchain. And here you can see the videos, uh, the last one and this one are uh, related to two technology, public key cryptography and a hash function that will be used in the blockchain. And uh, from next time, from the video number five, we will uh, start to discuss about the blockchain itself. Let's start with the definition. So hash functions are small computer programs that, what are the hash functions? are a small computer programs that transform any kind of data into a number of fixed length, regardless of the input data. There are many different hash functions that differ among others with respect to the length of the hash value they produce. An important group of hash function is called cryptographic hash functions, which create fingerprints for any kind of data. They have five different properties, and at first they provide hash value for any kind of data quickly, then they are deterministic, pseudo-random, one-way way functions, and collision resistant. Let's look at the five properties, and then we will discuss. Uh, we'll continue to um, showing with an example. Firstly, um, the property of providing hash values for any kind of data quickly is actually a combination of two properties. First, firstly, the hash function is able to calculate hash values for an, uh, all kind of data. Second, the function uh, does its calculation quickly. The second property is to be deterministic, meaning that the hash function yields identical hash values for identical input data. This means that any observed discrepancy of the hash values of data must be solely caused by discrepancies of the input data and not by the internal of the hash function. This is also a very inter uh, important um, property. The third property is pseudorandom, and being pseudorandom means that the hash value returned by hash functions change unpredictability, changes unpredictability when the input data are changed. So even if the input data were to change only a little bit, the resulting hash value will differ uh, unpredictably. So if you change just one letter, the hash function change um, the change is very big between the two hash function and the two words that differ only by one uh, digit. The for, pro for properties one-way functions, meaning that it is impossible to recover the original input data based on the hash value. Similar to fingerprint, if you find out which is the fingerprint of a person, you, if you have a fingerprint, you can find out Sorry, if you have a person, if you know one person and it's easy to find out which is its fingerprint, but in case you have only the fingerprint, it's almost impossible to discover which is the person it belongs to unless you test all the people available. And the last property is called uh, collision resistant, meaning that it is very hard to find two or more distinct pieces of data for which it yields the identical hash value. In this case, you can consider that the hash value created by the hash function um, by us being unique, uh, unique and hence being usable to identify the data. Let's look now at one example. You can see here uh, um, um, an example of function is SHA256 and they are composed, the hash function is composed by hexadecimal number, so 16 different digits. Therefore, they are used between 0 and 9 and between A and F to representing the digits um, from 11 to 16, and these uh, functions are used in the mining in uh, mining process as identifiers for transactions and as identified uh, identifiers for blocks. So you can see here at the example there is a j a o the hashing functions. You can see the long uh, code is uh, the number of digits for every hash function is always the same, and um, regardless of how many letters or how many digits. Uh, the, the first uh, the piece of information. And uh, we can see five types of hash pattern, independent hashing, repeated hashing, combined hashing, sequential hashing, and hierarchical hashing. Let's start uh, with the first, independent hashing. It means applying the hash function to each piece of data independently. Hashing different data, we obtain different hash value. 
the hash value in reality is longer is longer it is shortened here in the example to allow an easy illustration otherwise it will be too long and uh, the second part is the repeated hashing considering that every piece of information can be hashed it is possible to hash and hash value in the example the piece of data um, that we have a low word is firstly hashed once generated a code a hash value and then a hash value is hashed and it generate a new hash value the third pattern and the third pattern is combining combined hashing the goal is to get a single hash value for more than one piece of data in one attempt this is useful if a person wants to create one hash value for a collection of data that is available at a given time in the example the words hello and word are combined together with a space between between them and hashed the hash value is exactly the same as the previous example that it was hello um, word and then we have a sequential hashing and a hierarchical hashing as uh, the fourth part is sequential hashing whose goal is the incremental um, update of a hash value as new data arrive the existing hash value is combined with the new data and then is then handed over the hash function in order to get updated hash value in the example which we we see that the word hello is hashed then the word uh, the word word is combined with the hash value of the word the home and it generates a new, a new hash value this is called sequential hashing the last one is called hierarchical hashing and um, the application uh, the application of combined hashing to a pair of hash values with a single value on its top hierarchical hashing combines only two hash value in every step meaning you cannot combine uh, more than two you combine always two and two and two Let's uh, go finish with the summary. What we learn in this um, presentation is that uh, hash, what are hash functions? Small computer programs that transform any kind of data into a computer of fix, into a number of fixed lengths regardless of the input data. Uh, they provide hash value for any kind of data quickly and they are deterministic, pseudorandom, one-way functions and collision resistant. The hashing pattern are independent, repeated, combined sequential and hierarchic and understanding hash functions is very important to understand the blockchain because they are used in several ways and in the next videos i will discuss uh, from time to time about hash value and will not discuss about how hash value works because i explained this presentation so it's important that you understand in or, uh, in order to understand uh, the future video uh, that i will make on uh, blockchain many that's the end of the video and uh, see you in uh, one of the next one bye